best friend of a young woman killed in a murder suicide in Haverhill is sharing the warning signs she saw weeks before the tragedy. Investigators believe the 24 year old was killed by her boyfriend. Boston 25 News reporter Drew Kratis is live in Haverhill now with his emotional interview. Drew. Vanessa, the best friend of Loren Marino tells us she witnessed major red flags inside the upstairs apartment here on Broadway Street involving a young man Marino just began dating about two months ago. The Essex County District Attorney's Office says tonight that investigators believe that boyfriend killed her before turning the gun on himself. Her life was taken by a coward way too soon. The aspirations that 24-year-old Loren Marino had of becoming a registered nurse shattered in an instant over a case of suspected domestic violence that Katie Iandolo says she saw traces of with her own eyes in the weeks before the deadly gunfire. He shoved her into her dresser hard and I kind of freaked out on him. Iandolo says after the tense exchange with her best friend's boyfriend, 24-year-old Austin Amaral, inside Marino's Haverhill apartment, she felt a distance. He took her phone while she was sleeping and blocked me from it. There was a lot of obsession with him. He kind of came and never left. I hate him. Iandolo was on her way back from a trip to Las Vegas on Sunday when she learned that Marino had been murdered. Another friend who lives downstairs says she found the wounded bodies of the couple inside Marino's bedroom and her two dogs outside the door. I was paralyzed. I was on the floor of the airport just paralyzed, crying. I couldn't believe it. Still struggling to accept the loss, she wants her friend to be remembered as an independent young woman who worked two jobs and a bright light who uplifted others. When I think about not having her, like for like my daughter, that's something that he took from her because they had such a wonderful relationship. The anger she has toward the boyfriend who authorities believe killed her than himself, she's now trying to channel into constructive advice for others in abusive dating relationships. First red flag, please just go. It's only going to get worse. There's no fixing somebody. There's no light at the end of that kind of tunnel. And Ian Dolo tells us that Amaral showed her his two guns inside this apartment about a month ago, which she now has chills thinking about. She says she brought up some of her concerns to Marino, who assured her that everything was okay. Live in Haverhill tonight, Drew Caritas for your local station, Boston 25 News. And Katie, so brave, so thoughtful to share those warning signs in the hopes that it will prevent this from happening again to somebody else, Drew. Thank you. If you or someone that you know is in an unsafe relationship right now, call the National Domestic Violence Hotline. That number, 1-800-799-SAFE. Again, 800-799-7233. It is free and available 24-7.